cheap mechanical RGB gaming keyboard on the market. The Red Dragon K552 mechanical RGB gaming keyboard with 14,000 reviews on Amazon averaging 4.5 stars. You would think this is a very expensive keyboard when in reality it only costs $35. What? Inside the box for the K552 you get a sticker, some directions that you probably won't need, as well as a keycap puller. Be careful with this, and last but not least, the keyboard. The keyboard itself is a metal and ABS construction. While it is mostly plastic on the outside, with the keycaps of course being plastic, it is pretty durable. Not extremely heavy, but extremely compact, with only 87 keys and being about 35 centimeters in length and 12 centimeters in width. This is great for those of you who travel with a desktop computer, aka Jack, or those of you that want to keep your desk real estate free for moving that low sensitivity mouse while gaming. The keyboard connects up to your PC via a pretty beefy USB cable that ends in a gold tipped USB connector, which we'll put back in, which is supposed to help with connectivity. On the top side of the keyboard, there are the keys, which are a matte finish, which is decently slippery, but not overly slippery that I'm slipping off the keyboard, but slippery enough that I'm easily able to navigate between keys. The font that they chose for the lettering on the keyboard is very gamer. We'll put it that way. While not flattering, it definitely fits the atmosphere that this keyboard will be occupying, uh, but again, not my favorite. I do like how they made the special symbols on the number line very large so you don't have to squint when looking for those while typing. Uh, for someone like me who gets the amper stand and what that actually is mixed up quite often, Jack will be very happy that I have a keyboard with large characters. Under the characters and the keycaps are the switches. This keyboard features equivalents to the Cherry MX Reds, which are the go-to for gaming key switches. The actuation force is 45 GF and the travel distance is 2 millimeters. Compared to what this keyboard originally came with when it first came out, the equivalent of Cherry MX Blues which have a higher actuation force as well as the same travel distance. I think that Red Dragon made a great decision of pivoting to the Cherry MX Reds, even though they're actually an off-brand. The official name of these key switches are the Otimu Red key switches. The reason that I think these are a better choice than the Blues are because these are more keyed for gaming. Additionally, they're quieter, which I like. If you're using this keyboard and want a mechanical keyboard, but are next to someone, working, doing whatever, it can be really annoying if the person next to you has the blue switches. These ones are a bit quieter than the blue. Additionally, they don't feature the tactile bump. They have a nice linear flow while typing, making you smooth, quieter, but still very effective while gaming. I should mention that this does have anti-ghosting and NK rollover. This has 19 different modes of RGB lighting that can be controlled via the keyboard using the FN key and the INS key to cycle through different modes. Additionally, you can use the FN key paired with the number line, so for example one, which allows you to light up certain keys for certain gaming modes. For example, FN1 is the first person shooter gaming mode, which lights up the WASD keys as well as the arrow keys. If you're looking for more information on the different modes as well as how to make those different modes happen, yes, you people in the comments section, I'd encourage you to actually look at your directions for that functionality. Some other notable keyboard functionality are that you can use the FN key as well as the F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6, whatever, to control things like pulling up a search bar, calculator, pausing and starting music, and adjusting volume. 
Lastly, you can adjust the brightness of the keyboard using the FN key as well as the up and down arrows. There are six different levels of brightness. I would not say that this keyboard is overly bright, but it is bright enough to get the job done, meaning illuminate this portion of your setup and make it look cool to match your RGB mouse and RGB gaming mouse pad. There are LED lights on the right side of the keyboard just above the arrow pad for the caps lock indicator as well as scroll lock indicator. Overall, for $35, I'd say that this is a steal of a deal. It has the 3411 stamp of approval, not only because I think this is a great deal based on how much it costs and what you're getting, but also because of the 14,000 people on Amazon who have given this 4.5 star reviews. I don't think you're going wrong by purchasing this keyboard. For $35, you get a keyboard that is equivalent in functionality, at least, to $100 keyboards. The only time that I think you'll really see a step up in performance for a keyboard is if you go up to something insane, like a $200 keyboard. And for most people, that's probably not a good investment. So if you're looking for an entry level, cheap gaming RGB mechanical keyboard, the Red Dragon K552 is the keyboard for you. If you have any more questions about this keyboard and its functionality, our editor Lucas will actually be using this keyboard personally. So we'll see how he likes it. That means we can answer further questions that you have on functionality. Please ask those in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to drop a like on it and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. That's all I have for today, folks. We'll catch you in the next one. Bird out.